to day five of the league pretty much exactly isn't it in 20 minutes i believe it is perfectly day five and earlier today i went bossing and kind of finished the league start for me which is typically for me finished league start is having like all maps done having all limitations done and having all of these uh, favorite slots unlocked which i don't i know I'm missing like three unique maps, which is okay. And I do not have the field yet uh, because I bricked it. I, I don't know why, but I rolled it to like 60 quant, like everything. And I used my typical map rolling regex for it. And that was a terrible idea. Like, I, I don't know what I was thinking. So the arena turned into a mess. And then, um, yeah, I just bricked the encounter, which is very expensive. And I really wasn't in the mood to like rebuy or refarm certain things. Uh, just to like try that again for a single favorite slot it's fine it's okay i'm gonna call it call it end of league start here uh which most honestly in in in, in most leagues as, at least most recent leagues that's when i quit the league like i quit the game until next league basically or just come back uh a little bit later like on and off trying some things but i, I don't know this time around i'm probably gonna stick around for a little bit longer I'm gonna cover that at the end. Um, I don't know, I want to do a little bit of a review on how it went on the EK poison thing while we're still waiting for them to fix the gem because it's still bugged, it's still broken. So I'm a bit on a, in a waiting room here right now. But yeah, I did pretty much exactly what I planned in the POB in the guide thing, uh, which the base was Rutus. Uh, changed a few things. Um, in, in general, I'm pretty happy how it work, uh, like worked out. I'm I'm pretty pretty fine with that. I uh, wanted to quickly go over the differences between the phase four in the POB that you have and what I actually did. There isn't too many, um, like the character now that finished everything here is. Uh, one difference is I have this jewel here. I found it very early, like the fractured version. And then, yeah, I made it pretty easy. Honestly, <laughs> I tricked myself a little bit. I, stick, I did stick with this jewel. This could have damage, right? This could have dot multi and, and, and life and other things. Now I'm using it for elemental res resistance. And that changes my boots a bit, right? I, I didn't need the resistance stuff on the boots. And yeah, it made everything so easy that I yeah just skipped out or cheaped out on the jewel and didn't recraft my boots, which is fine. Mm. Also, you can see here the Eldritch Implicits are not done. I mean, they're not terrible, but... Yeah, it's not what I wanted to have this either. I just didn't roll them yet. Uh, I was a bit impatient and wanted to go bossing and be done with League Start. So yeah, these are not uh, not really done yet. I'm missing that. Uh, I'm missing three gem levels. I don't have the plus two on my Dendrobate. And I don't have plus one on the actual gem. Mainly because, honestly, I don't know which gem to use. Like, I'm... Like, I already have... Uh, actually, I have the plus two Dendrobate already. It's just not linked yet. I still have to do that. I'm um, already level 6 Ethereal Knives, but I don't know what to do. Like, will we use this one? Will we use the other ones? Do I need lab? Like, I don't know. Bit in a waiting room there. So I'm missing three gem levels right now. I'm missing quality pretty much everywhere. I've started leveling supports for quality. Um, so they don't, don't really have any uh, yet. So that's uh, not, not done, essentially. In that case, uh, my Awakened Gems are obviously still low. Like that one is level 2 and the other one is uh, still level 1. Um, which makes sense. I didn't buy like level 5s or 4s or whatever. And I didn't have enough XP yet to level them. Uh, my flasks are not perfect either. Like the Quicksilver is kind of meh. And uh, my Ruby doesn't actually have, have 100, 100, 100% uptime. Which is good enough. Like I did all the bossing and it didn't run out. But it technically could. I need a little bit... Uh, better uh, reduced duration here more like this i think 29 is fine on the current setup but it's good enough that worked out fine obviously this one is also not perfect but uh, good enough either and this one is not quality because i don't know apparently i forgot that's fine uh, and this one is not quality either so yeah i'm a pathfinder without perfect class it's really bad <laughs> what i'm also missing is the third charm but obviously i didn't really plan around having having charms actually i didn't really know in the in the before leaks start what they will actually do um so yeah i'm missing the third one um the entire bossing thing would have been way easier if i had the 
the culling strike there, just like a simple culling strike in there. And overall, I'm not entirely sure what we should get anyway, like 100%, you know, lockdown, this is the best. Um, and it's like spending multiple divines on these charms right now in this phase is also kind of overkill, a rather uh, planned like a POB for a advanced phase and then actually invest heavily in those. But if I had that for bossing, I would just slap a cutting strike in there and call it a day. Uh, I still have uh, the banner reservation. I can also remove that by just putting an enlighten here. Uh, phasing is kind of nice, quality of life. And here I have some some energy leech there to enable the leech tech, um, which saves one single point on the passive tree. And uh, I have the cannon stunt while leeching. That one is really cool because it gives me just stun immunity and also towards bossing, that's pretty good. So that's, yeah, that's basically the difference. Other than that, it's pretty much what I planned in the POB. Like there's no, didn't de deviate too much from what I wanted to do in that um in terms of the bosses and things i went actually pretty good like i did pretty much all the bosses in the game uh, or the main ones at least um the invitations were pretty fine um i did find the elder slayer one was a bit tough maybe also because of some of the mods but that one escalated a little bit like like al hasm uh, hasman however he's called he was still alive together with baron and the arena turned a bit into a mess that was a bit bad because the uh, the poison guy left a bit too long and Jox was there as well so yeah <laughs> it was a bit uh, a bit chaotic uh, the other ones went really good went really fine they are, they are kind of kind of easy um the field obviously i bricked uh, i said that earlier and in terms of normal bosses they were all pretty okay um elder um, anyway, super easy boss. Uh, Shaper is super fine. Uh, can be a bit tricky with Maven um, in the ball phase, but like always, because you cannot tank too many balls. Um, Uber Elder went also pretty fair, went pretty good. I had a pretty good grasp on where Shaper is. So obviously, the Degens can kill you. That was fine. Surprisingly easy, actually, Maven. Maven was really easy to do, I feel like. Um, especially since the last, last few times I... I, I leak start that the characters weren't really good at Maven and this one is really fine with it. So Maven was very easy. And Cyrus actually. Is that Cyrus? Is it called Cyrus? Wait. This one here. Yeah, Cyrus. Uh, this guy uh, went uh, surprisingly easy as well. So I was a bit surprised by these two being easier than expected to be fair. But it's probably just the other builds I played before that were not so good at it. So that was was, was pretty nice. was pretty easy. Um, yeah, other than that, uh, what would I do different, basically, uh, if I could restart this now? I would definitely focus more on life regeneration. Um, I know I planned in the POB to skip out on it mostly and just rely on my life flask. Um, I wouldn't do that again, probably. I would take a little bit more time, invest a little bit more in the rares, um, even though it's just harder to roll them. Or just at least recraft them before I go bossing, because it doesn't matter for mapping, really. But for bossing, there's so much chip damage and so much degens that are kind of difficult to handle with the, just the life flask. Um, and sometimes it's just the fact that you buy, buy degens and buy smaller hits as well. You get chipped down a little bit to maybe 90, 80% health rather quickly at some point. If you don't press your life flask in time, you might get one shot by something you would normally survive. So getting more quality of life with life regen regeneration, I uh, can highly recommend and would definitely do. Um, in in terms of yeah doing this again uh, I definitely forgot to do my quality like level support gems and do the, the recipe so I ended up without quality uh, even though they could all have been like I, I've just forgot to level gems basically for a really long mapping time so that was bad and in terms of like atlas progression stuff I would pretty much do the same but I would earlier I wouldn't go all that deep into the duplication I think and finish basically maps earlier and then swap into a different farm because what I did this time was basically just mapping I was selling maps which went kind of okay-ish just bulk selling random t16 maps that went okay-ish and fine and um, most money came from like the biggest chunk came from invitations the um, the blue invitations the blue super boss invitations like this dude here uh, eater the eater ones they I got a lot of them obviously by by spamming that 
that was fine, but it was a bit too long and too tedious and the build wasn't wasn't yeah it wasn't actually boss rushing so yeah it was a bit tedious and uh, got boring after some time i'm kind of done with just rushing maps without any leap mechanics um, so i would swap there earlier like just to an expedition or something like that um, i would do that different other than that i'm perfectly fine would do this again uh, was very smooth uh, all over except for the the gem is actually bugged and this uh, horrible league star scenario with peacock um yeah that's <laughs> That went bad, but other than that, it went really smooth. Great mapper, really happy with that. I uh, would do the same. Uh, I kind of forgot. Uh, I wanted to do a map, obviously, kind of uh, showcase you a little bit how the character looks right now because people like, like, they like seeing maps, right? And everybody skipped here anyway. Uh, just state of the character. I mean, it's a, it's a random T16. I don't know what's on it, but I know I rolled it earlier. Like, it's nothing, nothing crazy. It's like a super simple map. Uh, just to show you a bit how it works. So you basically have this thing here still that can pretty much one-tap uh, most packs, like even the blue pack here dies, uh, which makes it pretty easy. Reminds me of Frostblades a lot, <laughs> especially since the uh, range is so weird right now and we're kind of melee. Uh, you rather zoom me, especially with the automated flasks. It works pretty fine. Stuff like this, you have to, have to hit a few times, but then you can also walk away, right? Trusty poisons. You can kind of do this. And you can also just uh, activate your Plague Bearer and just run through a lot of stuff. But I don't know, I kind of keep it for... Um, I like this this stutter steppy playstyle, right? Like shield charge, shoot a pack, and then shield charge again. Like, like this one here. Especially got, by now it got to a point where I just have to one-tap and that's, that's pretty nice. Like here, one survived, right? Fine. That's okay. Uh, Axang, for example, as comparison, has like just, just better clear in terms of stragglers. Because it chains like so far. And then for bossing, I mean, it's nothing hard here. You put down your totems and you activate this thing here. It's the Plague Bearer and then you shoot them a while, right? And then you can, can also just stop. They're already dead. Or you shoot them longer. Why are there more? Oh, I have the destructive player. <laughs> I kind of forgot. So yeah, single target isn't the greatest. Overall, according to POB, uh, I have like three and a half million, it's below four million actually still POB DPS, and it's difficult with poison. But that's kind of how this plays, right? It's very, very speedy, has nice clear, really liking that, and single target isn't the best, but it's reasonably tanky. So um, it, I, you don't have to worry about too much. Um, outside of bossing where you can actually die. Dying in maps unless you roll them really badly or probably do some of the new forest. Um, you should be totally fine. I mean, I leveled. I just skipped the forest and did rather rippy uh, map mods, like even minus max res and everything. I did that all the way up to 95 and I could basically only die if I did the forest before. That was a bit too much, basically in combination with certain mods and got pretty much straight to 95. So that, that says something about how, how how tanky a character is, reasonably tanky. It's not, not you cannot face tank shaper beams or anything. Uh, that not. What's next? It's a good question, actually. Um, waiting for a fix on the skill gym is definitely uh, something I want to do. Uh, until then, I mean, I expect an answer within the next days. Um, I hope at least that they either fix it or we at least know, okay, what's up, uh, which, how, how will the skill gems um, stay so I can actually get my gem levels. I definitely on this character still want to get the plus three. Just need to decide on the skill gem and need to link my dendrobate, um, complete basically a phase four. And then I'm going to have a look later at uh, Pew being like an actual end game version, like maybe um, a Mahuk subtle version. That is the um, the ultimatum shield shield right because I really like ultimatum it's such a cool thing um, I just don't want to do the mechanic but instead we can just use the shield and act like we did something with the new <laughs> ultimatum but I, I'm not gonna do the actual mechanic so that one is interesting or I'm just gonna possibly go just for a Rutus version you know with the double de dagger craft something like that something towards dot cap uh, working towards a Nimbus maybe depends a bit how long um, I'm actually interested in the league. And also depends if I find a cool farm. And for that, I would like to try something with the leak mechanic. Um, like this juicing a map and doing something. 
Uh, expedition is probably a target. Um, even though I'm not entirely sure if I'm interested outside of League Start uh, talking to Tujin and all that. So mm, maybe not. I've heard somebody on, 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 on stream mentioned that they're doing Blight. That might be really cool. So, and I haven't really done Blight as a major farm in a long time. So I might, uh, might give that a shot, right? So yeah, basically find a good farm because I'm gonna need actual currency now to make an endgame build and I'm pretty dry. I have a few domains left. I have more to sell, sure, but um, I need a constant, constant proper income of money in order to afford a, a super endgame build. So I need to look out for that, wait for the fix. Once that's there, POB a full endgame version and then, yeah, uh, work towards it. Um, however, that's been five days of a lot of gameplay, like really a lot. So I'm definitely going to slow down um, since League Start is over for me. That's it. As I said earlier, typically I quit at this point and just let it be, touch some grass. I'm going to do a mix this time, I feel like, because I'm off work uh, for quite a while still. Got, got a bunch of holidays left, so can probably do a little bit of both. I hope it's going well for you guys. You can still hop on Discord if you got some questions. Um, I'm re happy happy to help out. And yeah, hope you're having a, having a good leak so far. And that's it. Yeah, bye.